our dowel locating pins. So, there we go. Oil up the spline axle, slide it on, don't keep any moisture out, and then reattach that. And this washer just holds on a uh, hubcap, so it's just decorative. Bearing holder slash magnet. A little magnet attached there. Make sure it's clean. Slide that into place. flush and that just keeps that race from sliding up because then the pan actually sits and holds that and there we go spring check ball two little rubber o-rings this is pretty there's not really anything to this right here Put our check ball back in, spring, Oops. spring, filter. Set it here, and then there's the holes. Let's we gotta line up those holes with the body. So I'm actually gonna take the oil pump bolts. that up. Take that back out. Slide this over the shaft. Slide out these bolts. I do believe this is directional and oops, slide our pump over there. This is directional. Um, you can see that it's offset to one side. So if you put it to the other side, there's a chance it would damage it or just not pump. I'm not sure. I'll have to see. But the triangle or the rectangle or square goes towards the back of the tractor. That's the back of the tractor. Get a little bit of oil. Just like that.
make sure there's no grease on it. There's already a wear mark in it. I'm going to put it the exact same. One brake pad. Brake disc. Flat side in. Take this little steel disc first. And this just helps apply even pressure to the brake pad. Otherwise, otherwise this brake pad would, would break. Let's set that in there. And clean it off. Slide it on. Okay, it's all filled up with the oil. I reinstalled it. Not very many bolts. Um, put the belt back on. Hooked up all the linkages, everything. So now I just have to start it up and purge it while it's still up on jack stands. I got to run it forward, backwards, forward, backwards, in gear, out of, you know, in gear with the release on and everything. I'll do it first with the release on and go from there. There we go. It runs amazing. Um, no slipping, no jerking, no more uh, whining from air cavitating, the air getting into the oil. It feels like a brand new transmission. Very responsive. A lot more powerful. Probably twice, twice the power. Good luck.